hey what is up everybody so in this video i'll tell you guys that how you can change the region on your galaxy watch active 2 and this will work on every samsung smartwatch that is running on tizen 4.0 and above so watch this video till end and follow these steps carefully first of all guys i'll tell you what are the benefits of changing the region or csc of your watch active 2 in this video i'll change the region of my watch active 2 from United Arab Emirates to United States. This will enable Samsung Pay on my watch. As you can see, there is no Samsung Pay on my watch active too, whereas I have it on my Galaxy Watch. And a lot of other apps will be available after changing the region to United States like Spotify. Secondly guys, the benefit of changing region is that I'll get faster updates on my Watch Active 2. As you know, the Watch Active 2 has built-in hardware for ECG, but it is software disabled. And USA will be one of the first countries to get ECG update after approval from FDA. So you will be able to try that ECG electrocardiogram feature early without waiting any further for the update. As you know, Samsung has strange update rollout patterns. So guys, anyways, let's move on to the process. First of all, you need to download a bunch of files. I have Bluetooth variant of the Watch Active 2 that has a model number of SMR820. So if you have the same model, just download the files via the links in the description. And if you have the LTE model of the Watch Active 2, just go to the XDA website where firmware files are available for download. Also, its link will be down in the description. So guys, here I have downloaded all the files which are required. First one is the combination firmware. Second one is the stock firmware for my Watch Active 2. And third one is the Net Odin tool, which we will use to flash the software. And in the last, we have STB tools, which will be used to change CSC or region of our watch. Okay, now beginning with the first step in which we have to flash the combination firmware on Watch Active 2, you have to go into the download mode on watch. For this, just keep holding the power button on the watch until it says rebooting. And now hit multiple times the power button. Now just scroll on the options via the power button and go to the download wireless option. And long press the power button to select it. Now it will show you this. After that, enable AP mode here by double pressing the power button. Now it will say that switching to AP mode. Now your watch will act as a hotspot. So go to your Wi-Fi settings on PC and connect with the model number of your watch. And now open Net Odin. If you have successfully connected your watch with your PC, this bar here on the Net Odin will turn blue. Now select AP option on the Net Odin and choose the combination firmware that we have downloaded. And after it will load, hit start. Also make sure you have 50% and above battery on your watch. Just wait for the watch to complete the process. It will take around 10 minutes. After flashing the firmware, you'll see this pass on Net Odin. Just wait for your watch to complete the boot. And after your watch has successfully booted up, just swipe down the notification panel and select the settings option. And here scroll down to connections. Now select Wi-Fi and choose always on. Now connect to the same Wi-Fi to which your PC is connected. After connecting, again click your connected Wi-Fi, scroll down to IP address and note it down on your phone or any page. And now just reboot the watch by keep pressing the home button. On PC, go to the SDB zip file that we have downloaded, unzip it and here just choose your operating system. I have Windows 64-bit, so I'll unzip that. Just open it up and go to the data, then click Tools. Here you can see a total of 4 files are present and we have to pull 2 files from the watch that will appear here. So in order to pull them, follow these steps carefully. Also make sure your watch after the boot up has completed is connected to the same Wi-Fi to which your PC is connected. Now open this nscon file and enter the following commands. sdb connect and now enter your IP address that you have copied.
now as you can see it is connected okay so next command is sdb root on after entering you'll see switched to root account mode now you have to write pull commands they are in the description just copy them and paste them in the cmd one by one It has now pulled both of the files in the same folder. First one is the CSC active customer. Just open it with any text editor. And here you can see your CSC is present. Change CSC. I'm using XAR which is for United States. And also I have provided CSC list of many countries in the description. Just check them out. Close and save this text. Now select prod code again, replace the last three letters with your CSC. Here I'm selecting the last three letters and writing XAR. Close and hit save. Now we have to push these two files back into the watch for this. Again, just copy the commands from the description, which are the push commands and paste them in cmd one by one so now i'm copying the first command hit enter now let's copy the second command and hit enter so it is saying that successfully pushed both of these files to watch now again we have to enter into the download mode just keep pressing the power key till it takes you to the reboot mode and now select download wireless option and long press the power key to enter into this option. Now just double press the power key to enter into the AP mode. Again your watch is now acting like a hotspot. Connect your PC to watch via Wi-Fi and open Net Odin once again. After successfully connecting the watch with the PC, we will see that again the bar on the net Odin has turned blue. Now select all the files from the stock firmware such as CSC, BL and AP. And then hit start. This will again take 10 minutes. Just let the watch finish the process and wait it to complete the boot. So guys now you have a fresh install of firmware with the US region on your watch active 2. Now it will unlock the Samsung Pay plus some other apps that are just limited to the US. Now I will quickly complete the pairing process and I will get back to you in a few seconds. So guys now after setting up everything I will show you that the Samsung Pay is now unlocked on my Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. As you can see this is the Samsung Pay icon and it is fully working. So in this way you can unlock the Samsung Pay anywhere in the world for your Galaxy Watch Active 2. And also I'll show you that now Spotify is also available for my Galaxy Watch Active 2 which was previously not available. And if you want to revert back to your original country just remember the three digits of the CSC and use the same process that I mentioned in this video. To go back to your original country for your watch active 2. I hope you liked the video and also don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.